Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our latest version upgrade for Google Chrome that started rolling out late yesterday in my region on the 4th of February. And the browser has now been bumped up to version 133. Now, to check we have the update, as always, we head to our main menu, help about Google Chrome. And latest version in bold after the update has been applied is version 133.0.6943.54 or 0 .53. So 5354, either or, if you're running version 133 on Windows, Mac or Linux means your browser is up to date and fully patched. Now just to focus quickly on the security fixes that have rolled out, and this will also be our weekly security fixes. The update includes 12 security fixes. And out of the 12 security vulnerabilities that have been patched, we have two high severity. And they are both use after free vulnerabilities. So the first one is use after free in Skia, and the second is use after free in the V8 JavaScript engine. So those are common exploits. And then the rest of those flaws that have been patched are all medium. So thankfully, there are no critical. And thankfully, there are no zero days once again that have been exploited in the wild. Now, that's the security side of things out of the way. Now, just to focus on what's new. Now, there have been one or two changes since I last posted with the early stable a couple of days ago, about a week ago, uh, which rolls out a week prior to the main release rolling out to the general public. There are a couple of differences, slightly. And the first new feature is the new energy saver mode where 133 now introduces an energy saver mode that helps extend battery life. But take note, this feature is only rolling out to a limited small percentage of users. So it's kind of been A-B tested and it's rolling out to a small subset of users. Now, energy saver, if we head back into our settings, just very quickly, just to do a quick recap, is part of your performance um, features in the browser. And energy saver, Chrome conserves battery power by limiting background activity and visual effects. So basically, that's what happens if you turn this on. And you can turn on only when your battery is at 20% or turn on when your computer is unplugged, which I like to have it um, for both my laptops. Now, this is getting a small upgrade. And basically, the energy saver is getting a new freezing feature where eligible, eligible CPU intensive background tabs will be frozen when energy saver mode is active aiming to reduce battery consumption and improve battery life. So this is something that's taking place under the hood. You're not going to see a setting or um, any visual references. It's all taking place under the hood. And as mentioned, it's rolling out to a limited subset of users. But with this version upgrade, if we just head quickly into our experimental flags page, I have noticed that if I type in energy, We've got a test mode for the new freezing feature. And we've got a flag you can enable if you want to try this out. I have enabled it before just by going, clicking on default, clicking on enabled, and then restarting your browser to apply the flag, as many of you will know. And it says, free CPU intensive background tabs on Energy Saver. The description reads, when Energy Saver is active, freeze eligible background tabs that use a lot of CPU. A tab is eligible if it's silent, doesn't provide audio or video, conference functionality and doesn't use web USB or web Bluetooth and um, that's actually available for Mac, Windows, Linux and Chrome OS. So if you want to try the feature out, go for it. Um, I fiddled around a little bit before posting and didn't really notice anything visually as mentioned. So you may see these flags, you may not, but this is a good indication now that Google is starting to push this feature out um, with version 133. So that's the new energy saver feature called freezing uh, in this latest version upgrade. Now, just on a side note regarding the energy saver freezing feature, I'll leave the previous video I posted on that link down below and in the end screen because it will give you a little bit more information. And then over and above the energy saver freezing feature, we get some under the hood performance improvements, which will include stability and performance enhancements according to the Chrome platform status, which is always a good thing. And then we have another new feature, which also seems to be rolling out using a controlled phased approach, 
where it seems that this feature to some extent or the other is still experimental. We, if we head into our settings once again, you'll see experimental AR, which I have been posting on quite in depth um, over in the Canary versions of um, Google Chrome, which are early preview versions. And the first experimental feature using AR that's landed in the stable version is history search powered by AR. So if you click on that, it says use everyday language to search your browsing history and find sites you visited. Only sites you visit after turning on this feature are shown in AR powered history search results. Okay. And then obviously you toggle that on. And you can just check when on and then things to consider. So just take note of those if you are worried about privacy. Now, if we head into our history, at this stage, I'm not seeing any visual references to this feature. That's why I'm going to say that I think Google is rolling this out and it's almost an experimental feature at this stage that they are A-B testing in the stable version. Because if I head to Chrome Canary, which is a very early preview version, sitting on version 134, and I head into my history, you can see there's a lot more going on here in regards to uh, history search using AR. We've even got the little icon for AR history search and we get this big banner which is not available in the stable version. So I'm kind of saying that this is more an experimental feature at this stage than a fully fledged feature. But fiddle around and if you get something different, let me know down below in the comments. And what I'll do is I'll leave the video I have posted on this when it was in preview. I'll also leave that link down below and in the end screen. So guys, that's give or take more or less what is new in Google Chrome version 133, which is our latest release, which started rolling out on the 4th of February 2025. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.